Now a check of what's happening this weekend, and this one is a longtime Rhode Island summer tradition. We're talking about the Whitford Art Festival, celebrating its 60th anniversary this year. Our Ashley Erling is live in North Kingstown with a look at those heading can expect. Hi, Ashley. How are you? I couldn't do it. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, this is the 60th year for the Wickford Art Festival, and I'm here with a seasoned vet who is no stranger to this wonderful event, Susan, who owns a different drummer right in town. Good morning, Susan. Hello, good morning. I am so happy to have you here because I don't know if anybody knows more people in town or more about this festival than you. This is the 60th year and you've been involved for almost as many yourself. Tell us about the Wickford Art Festival. I've been to the Wickford Art Festival for 43 years. It used to start on Thursday, and when it was in town, it was so exciting because everybody be setting up their tents in front of your shops, and I always had artists staying with me. The churches had suppers, and all. Oh, it, it was great. I've always enjoyed the festival. And things have shifted a bit over the years and throughout the pandemic, and now we're up here at Wilson Park, its current location, but there are still artists coming from all different areas. You just ran into somebody you love seeing here, which you were excited about. So tell us about the types of you know artists that people might be able to see here this weekend. Well, one of my favorite people is a painter, James Carter, and there's stained glass that's done here. Um, Jillian Barber makes beautiful fish. By the way, they're at the different drummer as well, <laughs> plug. But um, wonderful paintings, good energy. I, I, it's, it's worth coming to, definitely. It's a special event and people come year after year and you see a lot of people coming back. I think it's you know unique to see so many different types of artwork and different art mediums all in one place. You can really spend the, your time yeah. going throughout mm -hmm. here. Yes, you can. It's great. And there's food trucks and places to park. Uh, it's, it's definitely a good thing. And we mentioned a different drummer. Of course, we have to talk about that. So you're right downtown. We're just up the street here in Wilson Park. But people, if they come to you know visit here at Wilson Park, they should absolutely take the time to go down the street and visit definitely. the shops in town. Yes, there's lots of shops in town, and it's just a short walk. And there's ways you can cut through. Um, there's arrows and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's places to eat down there, too. And it's it's a great, the village is great. You can very, histor very historic. You can certainly make an entire day out of this and enjoy some of historic Wickford right. Village. And it has been named one of the best historic towns in the whole country, right. which is amazing. And it's literally steps away. And on the water. And on the water. And you and at your store, you said you have some of the artists that are here as well. What other types of things might people see? American handcrafts. By the way, the building I'm in was built in 1728. So that's Incredible. pretty cool. Incredible. Yeah, it really is. Um, there's a bath shop. There's craft shops. There's um, lots of just little boutiques, lots of clothes places. Uh, Pretty much everything. There's everything. lots to see and do here. And we have much more coming up. We're going to get into some of the artists and tell you a little bit more about the logistics of the art festival if you'd like to come down. And the time is now just after 9.45 a.m. If you're looking for something to do this weekend, you can count on 12 News this morning to let you know what's happening each Saturday morning. Now this week we are checking one of the top ranked art festivals in the world and considered by some to be the best in all of New England. Just take Route 1 in North Kingstown, then head east on West Main Street, which will then take you to Wilson Park. That's home of the 2023 Wickford Art Festival. Our Ashley Erling has been there live all morning with a look at all the excitement. Ashley, how's it looking? Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, you described it perfectly. It is the 60th anniversary and we we are here at Wilson Park with Maria. She is the executive director of the Wickford Art Association to tell us all about what's going on here. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's so delightful to be here this morning. Our first day of our Wickford Art, our Wickford Art Festival. We're produced by the Wickford Art Association for the last 60 years. Um, Governor Dan McKee was kind enough to give us a proclamation to award us for being here for 60 years. Um, in terms of visitors coming, um, we're 
welcome to park within Wilson Park. Um, there is also additional parking at a few um, neighboring businesses like Wickford Appliance, um, the First Church, and other locations, as well as on the street. So it'll be expecting tens of thousands of people over the course of the weekend. Really excited about it. And there's lots for people to see. I'm I'm looking around and seeing all different types of mediums of art. So what can people expect to see once they do get here? Well, we have just about 200 artists, um, variety of media, like you said. Um, we have sculptors, uh, photographers, fine artists in oil, acrylic, watercolor, all sorts of medium, as well as some fine functional art like you see right here. Yeah. It's very cool to see. And as I mentioned, we are in Wilson Park, which has been the location now for a few years. But for those maybe who are not used to it here, let's talk a little bit about the setup here at Wilson Park. Yes, yes. So um, the last couple of years we've been doing it, we started with because of COVID and it's just been running really smoothly for us as an organization and in support of the artists that produce here. Um, last year, over the course of the weekend, we estimated at about um, half a million dollars in artist sales. Um, the majority of the artists are thrilled to be here in the field and um, as a nonprofit organization we rely on the, um, the support of our board of directors as well as our volunteers we have over a hundred volunteers over the course of the weekend so from an organizational standpoint it works really well for us and the support of the community is really speaking well to the, the, you know, the town has supported us being here yeah because Wickford itself is so special one of the best historic towns in the USA which is amazing so to have it here in Wickford mm -hmm. makes it extra special it really does um, you'll see that there's a path right over there. It's a five minute walk to the historic village. We have signs pointing to the fifth festival as well as to the village. A lot of people will come and shop here and then go and explore the village. It's really a wonderful partnership. It's beautiful here. You should definitely come on out. Now it is warm. You're going to want to dress appropriately and